Hey, Time Vice here with Checkmate Gaming, bringing you another guy that's going to be Blitzcrank this time. He's a lot of fun to play. Uh, he's definitely not OP or anything, but if you can get your grabs off, he can be pretty game changing. The ability to just pull somebody from their team out is, is I don't know, it's like an unparalleled initiation. It can be game changing if you do it right. Um, so hopefully throughout the game you'll see some nice grabs. Um, I'll tell you how I build my runes, masteries, all that good stuff. I'm not going to put an insane amount of time into it, but uh, it should be helpful, I think. Okay, we'll start with the grabs. Um, you're not going to be good with Blitzcrank just after playing three games with them or whatever, so I really recommend either making a smurf or, or playing some normal games and, and just get about 10, 20 games with them down because to make the grabs and everything, it's almost, it's almost like a twitch shooter. You want to just be able to Bam! Throw it out there and grab somebody. If you, if you got to set it up and sit there with the cursor out and and all that, they're likely going to move out of the way because we all know somebody. If you see Morgana or Blitzcrank, or or Ezreal or anybody with a skill shot, really, like change their path and just kind of start moving towards you. You know they've just queued up their skill shot and and you're going to dodge it if if you have any experience with the deal. But yeah, so you want to be always moving around and um, and just throw the grab out there. You see, I just got grabbed by Blitzcrank there on their team. You want to be really careful around towers. That's that's when he's dangerous early game. You're not going to be too powerful until you get the man immune um, on your own. But yeah, you once you get some experience with him, you'll be able to anticipate the time it takes for his grab to to hit uh, the range of it because it is slightly longer than the and the indicator shows and, um, and be able to predict their, their paths, run speeds and everything a little better and pull off some of those grabs. You, you want to mess around, just just throw grabs through walls, see, see what the distance is, see what you are capable of and then it'll kind of become like second nature to you um, eventually and that's when that's when you'll really get good. As far as items, I like to start with the um, the blue mana regen thingy, I think it's Mechie Pendant, uh, and two health potions. And along that along with uh, mana regen runes in blue and yellow, that should be that should be sufficient to to let you make enough grabs and power fists and whatnot in the early game. You're gonna turn that into the tier and eventually into mana immune. And with that you shouldn't have any mana, mana problems at all. It's going to give you good DPS and it adds a ton to your tanking ability. You're going to be able to stay in the fight basically until your mana shield hits and then you probably want to run out depending on how much of their DPS is still left around. But you should usually get away when you've got that big of a, of a mana shield that's pretty good uh, leeway on, on escaping. Um, there you go, I just made a grab through the wall. Those are those are awesome whenever you can pull them off and try to ping beforehand get your team on board so you actually have somebody to do something once you once you hit the fist okay in addition to his uh to his grabs which are extremely useful for making unexpected the ganks and initiations uh he's pretty useful for knocking down towers uh, man immune and power fist which doubles his attack damage it's going to give you a lot of just base attack damage which is what you need to plow through towers I mean crit strikes not gonna not gonna do anything to a tower so just base attack damage and the uh, attack speed from your overdrive along with sheen power fist it all makes you just plow through towers and that's extremely useful early game because most likely if you've got anybody else competent with you in lane you're gonna dominate your lane early because they're gonna be afraid to be anywhere near the creeps so it lets you knock it down quick uh, don't be afraid to use your ultimate static field to uh, to knock some creeps down it's got a really fast uh, I think it's like 25 second timer or something like that that's that's not too bad at all but try to save it I mean if you can anticipate a fight coming up soon you definitely we don't want to be left hanging without it uh, you can see here I'm gonna just beast through this tower at pretty low level one creep wave is enough to to knock it down 
Okay, I mentioned the the man immune. You're also going to want to get a sheen, in my opinion, anyways. It's going to double your damage even further. And after that, I like to get something kind of tanky. Either Aegis of the Legion, if they're pretty balanced. Uh, Frozen Heart, if they're attack damage heavy. That'll also give you a little bit of mana and, and some utility with the attack speed reduction for them. Uh, Banshee's Veil is good. Uh, what else? Um, Guardian Angels also pretty useful on them. It all depends, really. After you get the the Man Immune and Sheen, you're pretty set for DPS. If you can uh, if you can swing it after you get your your tankiness down, you want to finish the the Sheen into a Trinity Force. That's what I do, anyways. Also, another viable way to do it is just get the Man Immune and a Stark's Fervor. That'll give you attack speed, some life leech, and uh, helps the team also. So if you want to go like a little more support, you can get like maybe Starks and Aegis of the Legion, become an Aura battery instead of mass DPS. Just depends what your team needs. Also want to pop that ult when everybody's around. It does silence them for a little bit, but not much. More useful as an interrupt, I guess, than a long-term silence. See there, bam, bam, bam. I think I died after that, but I mean we wiped them, so definitely worth it. Yeah, that's about all I got to say about this gold little robot guy. Um, I told you the build. As far as runes, I go mana regen in blues and yellows. Um, armor penetration in red. The quintessences are up to you. I run move speed sometimes. Sometimes there's more mana regen or armor penetration. Cooldown reduction is also pretty useful in blues. My masteries are either 9021 or 2109 depending on depending on my team and what it looks like I'm going to need to do. And that's all I got to say. I'll see you guys later.